just to cut the story a little bit short, I made so many promises to God that day. I'm still paying them off today. And one of those promises is to help people that I can help. And, and that turned into helping real estate agents accomplish their goals, very much like what you're doing. What's up? How y'all, how you guys doing? Doing great, man. Yeah. Like money yeah, for sure. Juan, Juan, give us, give us an update, man. How's the, uh, salsa or, or, or marinara this morning? Do you know what it is? <laughs> I, I, I had a little bolognese yesterday, so I've been cheating on the marinara. Bolognese, bolognese. Yeah. I hear you, bro. I Good hear stuff. you. I definitely skip the bolognese, man. If I have the option. <laughs> <laughs> we, should, we should start getting uh, italian restaurants to sponsor our podcast <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely man you uh you guys own a couple don't you you and your family no not yet <laughs> come on man come on cool man well good man a lot of cool stuff happening out there want to just kind of dive in here got our guy keith lucas with this what's up keith how y'all doing there today what's happening ricky yeah, we're, doing good. we're doing good man good. got you a little I like your little setup there, man. What what all's going on there? <laughs> Where are I you? figure it out, I'll let you know. Can you believe it's virtual? That's not even a real background. Oh, one of those like uh, yeah. Zoom. But it is actually it is actually my office, and, and it was I was using it for 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 some videos the other day, and I figured I'd take a picture of it because I was amazed how much crap I have shoved in my office. No, seriously, that's like a fake background deal. Yeah, yeah, it's it's one of the best I've seen. So no, yeah. you guys Look. are messing with me, man. <laughs> oh my art. Wow. Wow. Oh, okay. Nuts, huh? Okay. You've got that dialed in. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. I, hey, I, I, I need everything I can to help me make you know make me look better, you know. Yeah, yeah, you're doing you're doing a good job of that. So so just so everybody catch everybody up here, Keith Lucas is the newest member of our of our group of our team here, Road to 10,000. Juan, what are we up to this week? As of this morning, we are at 601. 601. Very awesome. nice. Very nice. Cool, cool, cool. T Keith, tell everybody like, you know, where, what part of the, uh, what market you're in, how long you've been selling, a little bit about, uh, a little bit of your background, you know, all that good stuff. Yeah. So uh, thanks for having me on. First of all, I appreciate it very much. And, and, and to meet the rest of the team, at least virtually. I'm here in Charleston, South Carolina, been a broker and a broker owner for 21 years now. Um, really had about enough of it um, starting, I don't know, probably about six months ago, uh, just running a brokerage constantly and, and keeping up with everything that was going on with it. Uh, after all that time, I, I figured that it was really time to, to give myself a bit of a break. So um, I looked around, I knew Ricky, of course, and um, what he was up to. So he kind of inspired me to to move on over to EXP and, and to give up the daily grind of running a brokerage. So that's really the long and short of it. I was down in, in Florida, in the Southwest area of Florida for about 15 years, owned a brokerage down there, owned another one simultaneously up in the Blue Ridge Mountains in Georgia. And then about, so I guess about 15 years ago, 14 years ago, moved here to South Carolina and been rocking it ever since. I love South Carolina. They're probably going to have to take me out of here feet first. You know, it's a great place. All right. Well, cool. So, I mean, give me a little bit of depth into your business, you know, in terms of sales or are you out of sales at this point or, you know, give everybody a little context. No, actually, um, I'm, I'm still in sales. And the whole idea uh, of coming to EXP, of course, was to relieve really myself of all of the, the pressures of the brokerage and also to create another revenue stream to replace the revenue stream I currently have from my sales. I really want to kind of back out of the sales over the next few years. And uh, to that end, you know, what I found that really works very well for me is doing videos. And, and both of you guys know that I do a lot of videos. I'm actually starting a new free coaching video, video coaching program. Video has been very good to me. It, it's, it's been awesome. I've been doing it for years. And, you know, it, it's something that the whole market is morphing to. Every day that you go on social media platforms, you see more and more agents out there doing videos, whether they're trying to sell a house, they're doing a walkthrough, whether it's an open house, whether it's, hey, you know, just come and find out about our area kind of a thing, 
or even what I do, which is more content, where it's kind of focused on supporting local businesses and things like that, which really expands my network and does exactly what you've been doing, Ricky, for so long is building your network and, and going out and and helping people along the way. And, and, and that's kind of it. You know, it started a long time ago. Um, you guys, I don't know if you could tell how old I am on this video or not, but yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not 25 anymore. You know, back when I was 17 years old, something happened to me that kind of changed the whole trajectory of my life. I was actually a merchant marine and I used to sail on freighters around the world, literally. And I was out one summer uh, on a freighter coming back from Rotterdam, back to the States. And we're about eight days out, basically in the middle of the ocean. And there was a huge explosion and fire on board the ship. And Ricky, as you know, you know, being on an oil rig, as you, you know, the biggest fear out there is having a fire on board the oil rig. Well, it's the same thing on a ship. And just to cut the story a little bit short, I made so many promises to God that day. I'm still paying them off today. And one of those promises is to, to help people that I can help. And, and that turned into helping real estate agents accomplish their goals, very much like what you're doing. So that's what kind of brought me full circle here and, and starting up the, the free you know, video coaching thing, because there are so many people out there doing it and want to do it, but they don't know how to do it. And I want to help them achieve their success and, and see the same kind of results that I've had. That's number one. Can, can I share a screen with you here for a second? Tell you a short story. Absolutely. We're going to make you a host. Okay. I can just hit that. You, you should be good. Yeah. So y'all can see this screen here now. Mm -hmm. So I did a snapshot of July 19, uh, July of 2019 through July, 2020. Okay. Uh, during that time I did three sales. Actually it was a little bit more than that, but we're going to use round numbers just for sake of the ease of math. And so I spent about 20 minutes doing the videos and about another 10 minutes putting them into a newsletter. And I did that for 50 weeks straight. So 30 minutes, 50 weeks equals 1500 minutes. Uh, from that, I generated over $3 million in sales. Well, let's just use $3 million where I had a GCI of $90,000. If you take that GCI and divide it by the amount of time that I actually put in there, so $90,000 divided by 1,500 minutes, I was earning $60 a minute during, doing video during that period, or $3,600 an hour. So again, you know, video has been really good to me, and it's consistency. It's, it's doing it for 50 weeks in a row. Now, I've been doing it longer than that, but I just took that snapshot because it really illustrates the power of the video and being consistent. Keith, how big was your, your database when you started blasting out that video newsletter? Because that's really, those are really good numbers. Yeah, I started, I would say it was probably around 5,000. And then, you know, it's grown to over 12,000 now. And I get at least one listing request per week out of it and usually sell one listing per month from it. And then what's your main way of filling up that database? Because for you to go from five to 12,000, um, I see the video campaign as a phenomenal nurturing tool, but how do you fill it up for all the new agents that are listening? So a, a couple of different ways. Um, networking, number one, that, that's probably the biggest thing right there. There are so many different ways you can network, even during our you know pandemic that we're having get on zoom calls, get on, get on panels, get on all kinds of different things, invite people to come on to, to what you're doing, build your network, reach out to your, your local farm area, get, make sure you get all those people on there as well. And then of course, you know, if you have one of the lead generation platforms, you can use that. But you know, the, the, the thing that we really want to stress that I really want to stress is that you know, lead generation is, it's a tough game. And, and the, the market really is shifting more towards a relationship generation game. Okay. You're building relationships and, and, and that's how you build your database. Really cool. So essentially, if there was a three-step process, it's go out there, speak to people, build a relationship and stick them in your database. And then when you're home and you have time, build engageful content in video that you could shoot out to them. How often? Once a month or once a week? No, I, I do it on a weekly basis. Cool. So it, yeah. it's basically what, what Ricky's been doing, just instead of doing just the, the weekly newsletter on the email, 
you've added the video concept to it. Exactly. You know, and people, people like that part of it a lot because, you know, the stats, you know, prove it out very clearly. It's like 65% of the people will work with the first agent that they speak to, but it jumps up to almost 90% with the first agent that they meet. And by them seeing you in video, video equals meeting, right? So now they get to see your face. They hear your voice. They understand your mannerisms. Maybe even if you have a sense of humor, they, they, they get that as well. And they appreciate the content that you're giving them because you're not trying to sell them. All you're doing is giving them relevant content about your local area. And people really like that. So now when they invite me in to do a listing presentation for them, I get it all the time. Hey, man, you're so much taller in person than you are in your video. <laughs> and, and so, you know, it works, right? They, they, they know you. And, and I get people that give me, you know, looks as I you know, walk down the street or I'm sitting in a restaurant or whatever it is when I don't have a mask on you know, that, that kind of recognize you from doing your videos. Nice. Nice. Real nice. Yeah. I don't know what it is about video that makes people think you're, you're like five foot or something. Cause every, every time I go somewhere, they're like, you're so tall. I'm not even that tall, <laughs> you know? So I guess video really takes off a couple inches. Well, cool, man. Well, that, that's good stuff, man. Where can everybody find this, uh, this, this new, coaching program coaching yeah program. yeah the video the video class or whatever is it a course or what is it no it, it it's it's free coaching it's it's video free coaching so basically it's a really simple concept um the website just went up it's it's rainmakersunlimited.com rainmakersunlimited.com and you can sign up there um actually my ebook ebook will be done by the end of this week and I'm not sure when this is actually going to air. I know it's being recorded, but by the time this airs, probably uh, that book will be ready. So you'll get my book and, and see exactly the step-by-step -step methodology I used that I just described a minute ago to earn those $90,000 right, right off the bat. It gives you every last detail on how to do that. Um, and, and then, you know, if you have questions, my phone number is all over the place. My email is all over the place. You want to jump on a Zoom call? Let's do that. You want to just talk over the phone? We can do that as well. Whatever you're comfortable doing, I'm comfortable doing. I'm here to help you guys build your network, build your business through the use of video. Because again, for both of us, we're expanding our networks, right? Absolutely. And then Keith, so something you mentioned was this is all consistency, right? Because it, it sounds like it's too simple to be true. But in reality, 90% of real estate is really just simple. It's not easy. It's, it's, it's simple. Um, when it comes down to these videos, I could already hear the agents telling me, well, what do I put in the video? And uh, what if they don't like what I'm putting out there? Um, do you go over that in the course in terms of what to come up with as far as material goes for the actual video itself? Yeah, we do. There, there's, there's tons of different things that you can showcase or spotlight, whichever term you want to use. Um, what I found to be most effective is not trying to sell real estate or myself. You're selling yourself just by being on the video and people getting to know you. It's like watching your favorite TV show, right? You like a character, you kind of relate to that character. You always tune in to watch that character. It's the same thing. People like to see it. They like the consistency. So every Wednesday, a new video will drop. They, they're, they're expecting it. They want to see it. Then, you know, from that, you're delivering content for your local community. What's going on in your community? One of the things that we really focus on, in on is supporting local business. So you can go to a local business, whether it's a, uh, an artesian cheese shop, whether it's a restaurant, whether it's a, a, an organization. We just did a really cool one the other day called the Center for the Birds of Prey. And we did a video on those guys and it shows about everything that they do for the birds of prey, for the falcons, for the hawks, for the uh, owls, for the eagles, all that stuff, they're a hospital and, and, and they have an education program. And people really dig that stuff. They, they really like to see it and understand it because one, they don't always know it's there. And two, if you have new people moving into your area that's, that are in your database that came through your lead generation platform, they love to learn about your area. They want to know, they want an insider's look as to what's going on. 
because all they see is mass media. Mass media is always the bad stuff, right? There's a shooting or a fire or something bad. But this actually delivers the insider's look. And, and that's what I found to be most effective. We get tons of requests for people to asking us to come profile or showcase their business. And, you know, it, it's funny. It, it's so powerful. At least three times a week, we get other real estate agents that are sharing our videos, my videos, with their clients, which is, you know, and, and there's a whole nother aspect to that whole, that whole sharing thing that we could talk about um, at, at some other time. But it's phenomenal. They, even the agents think it's great. And, and it's kind of sad on one side of the coin because they're too lazy to do it themselves. So they're sharing ours. We don't mind the sharing ours, but if they, if they want to build their business and, and as Ricky says, there's enough business for everyone, right? There's enough business here for everyone. Go do it. You know, there, there's only a couple of other people in all of Charleston that are doing videos on a regular basis and they're great and they're getting business from it too. And I think what's great with uh, tools such as bomb bomb, and KV Core, right? KV Core is integrated with BombBomb. Uh, you have the ability to just blast these out to hundreds, if not thousands of people at a click of a button. So uh, as long as you take the 30 minutes a day, you said to edit, put it together, uh, and then click it out there, there's really not much involved. And the ROI is ridiculous. Show me somewhere else in real estate where you could earn what, $60 per minute? Yeah. Uh, I mean, awesome. you, can't, you can't earn it at all. And, you know, e even if you, let me let me simplify this. You don't even need to go outside of your office or your house, wherever that happens to be, to create a video. You can do it right here. And you know, you guys were talking about you know my my background just a few minutes ago. I could be here in downtown Charleston in a, <laughs> in, a in a click of a button and talking about the cobblestone road that's right behind me and how the cobblestones came over in the ships from back in the 17 and 1800s. They had nothing to do with the, with the cobblestone, so they built roads out of them. And that's a great Keith, video. Keith, let, let, let's talk a little bit about this because uh, I was going over this in a training myself. When it comes to consultations, buyers and sellers are now being a lot more receptive to meeting with the realtor via Zoom, right? And yeah. I think if you could control the elements on the Zoom call, uh, you can make for a lot more of a fun experience when it comes to converting clients. How are you actually just changing these backgrounds as you go? Are you doing it through Zoom? Do you have a green screen behind you? Because I'm sure a lot of uh, realtors want to step up their Zoom game as well. Yeah, uh, for sure. Yeah, so I've got a green screen behind me. Um, and then, you know, just to make things a little bit better, you know, I have you know, a microphone just like you guys do as well, because we all know that the ones that are inside computers are absolute crap. They make you sound like a tin man. Um, and make sure your lighting is good. You know, it, it, it's done right within Zoom. They, they have a, an option down by the camera that says, choose your virtual background. And all you have to do is click on it. You have previously uploaded a number of different um, scenes, if you would. Okay. I mean, we can be anywhere from inside a factory to sitting at a beachfront uh, condo or, or a different condo. You know, you just kind of click through them and decide where it is you want to be. And, you know, get some lighting to make you look a little bit better. And, and that's something we teach in, the, in, this, in this course as well, that I teach in this course as well, is, you know, how to make yourself look good on camera, on your videos, even at home. Um, you know, we, we cover all of those different topics, the equipment, the staging, all that stuff. Cool, cool, man. No, that's good stuff. You know, like... Um... I didn't really use video till I got into the coaching side of the world, you know, but as a new agent, I mean, I've been talking about how if I were a new agent in today's world, how I would be crushing social media in terms of video, um, ads, content uh, locally on top of my phone calls, you know, like I, like I, I think that people need to, cause once you get the leads, we got to call them, right? I mean, once you get the leads through the, through the video, then we got to call them. So for me, it's when you combine the voice to voice strategy with the digital marketing video slash social media email strategy, you know, when you combine the two, I think too many people are doing only video. They're not really doing too many, too many calls or they're just doing calls. They're not doing any social media. 
you know, they need to combine the two and find the balance between, yeah. okay, I'm going to call for two hours, three hours, then I'm going to do social media for two or three hours. Um, and I'm really going to crush this whole real estate thing. I think that's where you find the most dangerous agents, you know, in my opinion, is when you got people that are good on the phone, they got that gift of gab, they, uh, they can make friends, they're comfortable, they make people feel, feel great and uh, like they're part of the family, you know, and then when you can exude that onto a video, right, and share that same enthusiasm on camera to the world and everybody in your local market like you do, then you've got a really killer, like winning combination, I think. So yeah, absolutely, man. I think this is great. So we're going to link your, uh, all your stuff below the video. Um, if you're listening to this on podcast, just go to YouTube and find this and, uh, we'll link everything below his ebook, the little course, everything that he has going on. That way you guys can dive all in and, um, take advantage of these free resources. Yeah. And then again, you know, if you have any questions about it, you know, reach out to me directly again, you know, my, my phone number is all over the place. Um, it's on the websites. It's, it's is that where you want right people now. to, is that where you want people to contact you is your phone number? Um, probably the best thing to do is to, um, go to the website and just sign up there. It's, you know, you, your name, phone number and email address. That but what way, if they want to contact can, you and ask questions? Absolutely. Give me a call. Absolutely. I've never, I've never heard that before. Do you guys just give me a call? My number's everywhere. Just go find it. And hopefully, you know, we'll talk one of these days kind of deal. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty simple. <laughs> Do you have a smart number where you could track where people call you from, or is it just a regular cell? Um, I have a regular cell and, it, and it's a really um, confusing number because it looks like it's a company number. It's 843-834-5000. Oh, so great. people see that they're like, well, wait, I'm not answering that. That's got to be some kind of scammer or, or company calling me. All right. Listen, bro. Okay. We're going to put your phone number in the description for those of you who don't feel like Googling <laughs> Keith Lucas and then see his number on Google and think it is yet again, another fake corporation. We're going to put his direct number. Ricky, let, let, let's talk about this a little bit though. I, I see Gary V. He started this way back where he started collecting uh, SMS, right? Because he said that was mm -hmm. the future. How do you yeah. feel about that? Starting a little SMS campaign and then having people text you. You think it's the future or you think it's uh, better off the way it is? I think it is for certain things. Um, you know, I mean, I'm using it for my coaching business. I've got, you know, several thousand uh, agents uh, that are part of my uh, mass texting database that get motivational text messages and stuff. I mean, what I'm telling my agents is, is to do one, once a month, text your database, right? Just once a month, just text uh, a link to your weekly email or an article or something, just text something and say, give a little one liner, a couple of words, a little, a little hook, you know, a little hook and then a link to bring some value, you know, to them. Um, and make sure that on the link or somewhere that they can, because nowadays, you know, um, I guess you have to be on top of the, uh, actual, because you're not, when you mass text, you're not mass texting from your personal cell phone number. It's going to be a third party number. So you either have to stay on top of that, that, uh, that inbox, like it's your email or have it forwarded somewhere, something like that's where you can stay on top of it. You know, people need to be able to contact you pretty easily. So, you know, there's some things about it. Um, but here's what I think about it. I think that it's just, I think that it's really extremely early. I think that it's kind of like, or who knows, it may not, it may not end up like email, you know, um, people may like right now I have agents that are scared to do mass text a lot because they feel like it's still a much more like intimate family and friends only kind of place. And who knows, it, it may stay like that. It may never get to the place where you're getting, you know, 20 junk texts a day. Like we're getting hundreds of uh, junk mails a day. We'll have to see where it goes. I think it's really powerful in terms of open rates, right? I think the open rates are like 97%. Incredible open yeah. rates. You know, so if you use it right and you don't abuse it, you know, and you bring a lot of value, I think it's great. My, my whole formula is um, I tell everyone to do their weekly or, or monthly newsletter and then use the actual text blast on KV Core for holidays. So uh, you could send something out on Valentine's Day, put your website in there, 
It's non-invasive. It's personal. Um, and then if you call them quarterly and you stay in touch with them that way, it's a triple threat. Like I said, it's, it's, it's the same way to um, just go about it in a different way. But Keith, everything you mentioned on video, I think is, is the future. And hey, if you go and combine that with some text campaigns and regular email campaigns, you're, they're going to be the one that, that, that you reach out to when, when they want to buy or sell. You know, and, and I think something that, that um, you can also do here at, at EXP is to get your Ring Central number and use that as your texting number. So it'll go right back to your cell phone. Mm-hmm. So, you, you know, Ricky, you were talking about using a mailbox. Everything will come right to your phone and, and you'll be able to keep it there. Right, right. Cool, man. So a couple of things happening in uh, like I just I've got like 15 alerts just now that like uh, this Josh team feller left uh, Keller Williams. Did you see that? The yeah. CEO? I have not. No, looked. he's not the CEO. He's the president, I think. Oh, he's the president. You're right. Because I, I believe Gary stepped down and then he stepped up, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Now, it's, it doesn't say why he left. Yeah, he, he didn't. The, he didn't say why. He just he he put it out. I guess on his Facebook page that he was that he was leaving. And I wonder he, where he's going. Let's uh, let's just pull this up really quickly. Yeah, it's on Inman as of uh, this morning. Yeah, it'd be real interesting to see. Like, I would love to know why he left and where he's going. You know, why why don't we get him on an interview? You think you could lock him down? Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. I have some, I have some um I have some contacts out there. I think we could uh actually I got this guy. He's the uh he's the CEO of Keller Williams in I think Arizona or somewhere. But I'm I, he 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 really wants me to come on his podcast. So you I know uh know who I'd love to have on uh Chris Heller. Chris, Chris Heller. Chris was past president of KW. Um, let me just see. If okay. I but um, him and his team were like one of the top teams in the entire country. They were closing out several hundred transactions a year. But Chris left KW a few years back to go um, serve in a major role at Loan Depot. And then I think mm. he bounced to another tech company. So th- there's a lot of upper uh, executives over there that are doing some major plays on tech. I'd love to learn their insight on, on where they think the industry's headed. Yeah. 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 So Chris Heller and Josh team, I'm going to reach out. Absolutely. To those and guys we, and see. And then we could get Gary on this. Maybe we could do uh <laughs> Keller. <laughs> yeah. Why not? <laughs> he doesn't even have an Instagram account. He's incognito. Yeah. That dude is, he's, he's in hiding. <laughs> so so we got so we're officially open in brazil right yeah and i just landed our first agent there today nice um and i talked to another so we're 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 formulating a team there we're formulating a team there so i'm excited about that because uh you know i know a lot of brazilian agents you know and i went to brazil and spoke at r4 and it's an incredible country full of a bunch of incredible people. I'm here to tell you, man, that is an incredible place. I know that economically they weren't doing so well when I went there, um, you know, as far as a, as a, a country as a whole, but they'll come out of it. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm really excited. Just the fact that I can grow teams. I, I, I didn't tell you this one. We're like, we're up to like 25 or so in South Africa right now okay yeah yeah so so that's exciting um and i think we've got another 10 or so kind of work in there so it's it's exciting man just the opportunity to be able to expand in these other countries and to kind of um be the be like you know ground level you know in these countries so got our team leader in australia lee um and working to uh to start the team there. Uh, we've got about what, 20, 30 in Canada, you know, Canada's heavy. Yeah. And then, um, as Brazil opens up, Mexico's opening up, Puerto Rico's opening up. Um, I, I believe our international, uh, brokerage is going to grow bigger than the U S one. There's just so many more agents out there and so much more market share that we could uh, conquer. 
So we hit a hundred thousand agents later this year. Oh, did you see, did you see Grant Cardone today? Not, not today. What's so he did, so he did a zoom call and somebody sent the zoom link to me. And, uh, so I watched it live and I, I couldn't watch the whole thing cause I was making videos and stuff, but, uh, I watched the first of it. I watched a little bit of the middle and then I watched like the very end. And then I basically just turned it off cause it was just whatever. But, but, uh, basically they are, it's, it's, it's like official, like they are with the XP. Um, and Elaine, uh, Elena, Elena. Yeah. Yeah. Elena. She, she's, uh, it, the way it looks like she's, I guess the one getting her real estate license and becoming an agent. Um, and they're, they're trying to blow it up. You know, they're calling it the 10 X real estate empire or something like that. And, stuff. you know, they're, they're, uh, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna, it's going to be incredible to watch, you know, uh, with I their, think- with, with their influence. I think the way they saw it is uh, it's all upside, right? Because they have the influence, they have the brand, and they just needed a platform where they could build it as big as they wanted to. But as Keith, you mentioned earlier on, it's it's the opportunity to have all the benefits of being a broker owner, but none of the headaches. And um, who wants to get the 600 agents now? We have to manage, support, train them, do all those things. Um, this, this really is like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So I think they saw that and they want to cash in, you know? Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, absolutely. So that's exciting. A lot of exciting stuff happening. So, um, yeah, man, Keith, uh, I would ask you where everybody could follow you, but I'm sure you'll just say Google my name, uh, <laughs> <laughs> or give me a call. <laughs> yeah. Look, look at the yeah. post office, you know, up on the wall or, you know, <laughs> in a lot of bathrooms and, you know, spread around right. the country. You'll, you'll see there. Um, yeah. Yeah, people can reach me. It's really simple. I'll give you my number again. I know it's a little bit confusing, but it's 843-834-5000. Email address Keith at KeithLucasTeam.com. The free video coaching website is Rainmakers Unlimited. Okay. And it's spelled just like it sounds, Rainmakers Unlimited. It's really simple. Go there. You can, my, my phone number is there. Uh, email is there. Uh, you can sign up for, for the book and, and, and for coaching. Um, and, and, you know, we're going to build a big coaching program for people that really want to start using video as part of their marketing strategy. And, and there's no reason why that, that you should wait any longer to do that. You know, it is the way, <clears throat> you know, we can do one of these down the road where I can share with you more information. But this is mind boggling. There are 500 hours of video that are uploaded to YouTube every minute. Every minute. That's that's mind boggling. That's say, a lot. Say of it again. Say it again. 500 hours of video are uploaded into YouTube every minute. It's like, could you imagine the the like the 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 cloud storage? Like, can you imagine the the <laughs> Can you imagine like the data store? Like, I saw, you need I saw a cloud a, for your cloud. I saw, what's like, bigger? What, what's bigger than a, a terabyte? What's after a terabyte? Megalodon. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I An don't Optimus know, Prime a bite. <laughs> yeah, like like uh, like I saw um, like a picture or some a video one time or something of like the Google like some warehouse like they have like warehouses i believe with just like nothing but like hard drives like like as far up as the ceiling goes like just like for probably miles they have like it's like goodness man like like what if like what if something happened to that like what if there was a like a huge fire or something or you know an explosion or um, I mean, what would happen? Would we all lose like everything in our Google drive? You know what I mean? Like how protected is this stuff? You know, it's insane, yeah, it's, but yeah, yeah, like, uh, five, you say 500 hours per minute, a minute. Um, yeah. 500 hours per minute. Now, now that's, that's probably worldwide. 24 that's hours worldwide. a day. Yeah. And that's worldwide. So, you mm-hmm. know, it's not just here in the States, but that's an incredible amount the, the consumption is huge as well. There are more people watching videos online than there are watching the major networks 
and the streaming services combined. You think so? You think so? Oh, I know so. So, 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 so what is it now? There's more people watching what? More people watching videos, okay, from places like all the social platforms. Let's just say that. All the social platforms and even bomb bombs and things like that going back and forth than all of the major networks in the United States and all the streaming services in the United States. Wow. It's huge. It's huge. Wow. That's massive. You know, it, it is. And, you know, it, it, it's not too late to get in the game. Um, there are a lot of people out there trying to do it and, and they're, I have to give them an A for effort, but they need to, to you know, get some coaching and stuff to, to make themselves look better and, and, and to get their message across. Um, and, and that's something that we find is, is really tough for a lot of people is just getting going. You know, um, it, it, it's an obligation and, and to stay consistent, it takes effort. But, you know, if you're not going to prospect on the phone for three hours a day, spend that time networking and, and making videos to network you're going to see results from it just don't you know throw your hands up and say man this sucks i, I, I can't do this there, there's there's a way for everybody to do it yeah 100 percent, bro 100 percent, bro well look thanks for coming on the show enjoyed chatting with you for a little while um you know you guys take advantage of his free resources on uh video strategy there um, it's brought him a lot of success and he's really speaking a lot of truth here about it. And I stand behind it myself. So uh, Juan, anything else today? I think we are good. Uh, if anyone has uh, any questions on video or online lead generation strategies, reach out to Keith. He's your man. Uh, if anyone's interested in learning more, uh, I had to partner up with me and Ricky, Re reach out to me or Ricky via Instagram and we answer all our DMs. So um, we're looking to partner up with people, not just locally, not just nationally, but worldwide, if you are in a country where you think you have influence to bring on tons of agents, let's talk. I don't see why we can't partner up. Absolutely, guys. Very cool. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next show. Uh, till then, road to 10,000 out. We'll talk to you guys soon. Take care, guys. Peace.